You're late. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. It's wonderful to see you, Gandalf. You didn't think I'd miss your Uncle Bilbo's birthday. What news of the outside world? Tell me everything. <laughs> what? Everything? Far too eager and curious for a hobbit. Most unnatural. Well, what can I tell you? Life in the wide world goes on much as far as if goes on much as if it has passed age. It full of its own comings and goings, scarcely even aware of the existed existence of hobbits. For which I am very thankful. Ah, the long expected party. So how is the old rascal? I hear it's going to be a party of special magnific magnificence. You know, you know Bilbo. He's got he, he he's got a old place in an uproar. Oh well, that should please him. Uh. Half the shire's been invited. Good gracious me! He's up to something. Oh really? All right then. Keep your secrets. Before you came along, we Bagginses were very well thought of. Indeed. Never had any adventures or did anything unexpected. If you're referring to the incident with the dragon, I was barely involved. All I did was give your uncle a little nudge out the door. Whatever you did, you've been officially labelled as a disturber of the peace. Oh, really? Gandalf, I'm glad you're back. Frodo leaps expertly from cart. So am I, dear boy. So am I. No, thank you. We don't want any more visitors, well wishers, or distant relations. And what about very old friends? Gandalf, Bilbo Baggins, my, my dear Gandalf, it's good to see you, 111 years old, who would believe it, you haven't aged a day, Gandalf and Bilbo laugh together, <laughs> come on, come in, Welcome, welcome. Tea, or maybe something stronger? I <laughs> have a few bottles of the old Winyard left. 1296, a very good year. Almost as old as I am. It was laid down by my father. What say we open one, eh? Eh, I was expecting you sometime last week. Now that it matters, you come and go as you please. Always have done, always will. You've caught me a bit unprepared. I'm afraid we've only got cold chicken, bit of pickle, some cheese here. Oh no, that might be a little risky. Oh, we've got raspberry jam and apple tart. Got some custard somewhere. Not much for afters, I'm afraid. Oh, no, we're all right. I've just found some sponge cake. Nice little snack. Hope it's enough. I could do you some eggs if you like. Just tea, thank you. Oh, right. You don't mind if... No, not at all. Go ahead. A sudden loud... Knock, knock, knock. I'm not home. I've got to get away from these confounded relatives hanging on the bell day, never giving me a moment's peace. I want to see mountains again, mountains, Gandalf, and find somewhere quiet where I can finish my book. Oh, tea. So you mean to go through with your plan, then? Yes, yes, it's all in hand. All the arrangements are made. Frodo sus suspects something. 
course he does. He's a baggins, not some blockheaded brace girdle from Hard Bottle. You will tell him, won't you? Yes, yes. He's very fond of you. I know, he'd probably come with me if I asked him. I think, in his heart, Frodo's still in love with the Shire. The woods and the fields, the little rivers. Bilbo stands gazing out of the kitchen window. I'm old, Gandalf. Bilbo, yeah. I know, I don't look it, but I'm beginning to feel it in me heart. I feel thin, sort of stretched, like butter scraped over too much bread. I need a holiday, a very long holiday, and I don't expect I shall return. In fact, I mean not to. <laughs> Old Toby, the finest weed in South Farthing. Oh. Gandalf, my old friend, this will be a night to remember. Go on, Sam. Ask Rosie for a dance. I think I'll just have myself another ale. Oh, n no, you don't. Go on. So there I was, at the mercy of three monstrous trolls. Have you ever uh, heard of a troll? Do you, do you know what a troll is? Great big nasty 20 foot high smoke things. And they're arguing. Arguing about how they they would go to cook us, whether it be turned on spit or minced in a pile, whether they were going to sit on us one by one and squash us into a jelly. But they spent so long arguing, the weathers, the weather twos and why fours that the sun's first light crept over the top of the trees and turned them all to stone. <laughs> No, no, the big one, the big one, Pippin, grab a... You know, Pippin grabs a huge rocket. You're supposed to stick it in the ground. It is the ground. Outside. It was your idea. Bilbo, watch out for the dragon. Dragon? Nonsense. Hasn't been a dragon in these parts for a thousand years. That was good. Let's get another one. Mary Dot Brandy Buck and Peregrine Took, I might have known. <laughs> <laughs> My dear Bagginses and Boffins, Tooks and Brandy Bucks, Scrubs, Chubs, Hornblowers, Blog, Bulgers, Brace Girdles and Proudfoots. Proud Feet? Today is my 111th birthday. Yes, and alas, 111 years is far too short. A time to live among such excellent and admirable hobbits. Tremendous outburst of approval. I don't know half of you half as well as I should lie, and I like less than half of you as well as well you, as you deserve. I have things to do, and I have put this off for far too long. I regret to announce this is the end. I am going now. I bid you all very fond farewell. Bilbo looks across at Frodo, hesitates, then... <gasps> Goodbye. I suppose you think that was terribly clever. Come on, Gandalf. Did you see their faces? There are many magic rings in the world, Bilbo Baggins, and none of them should be used lightly. It was just a bit of fun. Oh, you're probably right, as usual. You will keep an eye on Frodo, won't you? I'm leaving everything to him. What about this ring of yours? Is that staying too? Yes, yes, it's in an envelope over there on the mantelpiece. Gandalf frowns on the empty mantelpiece. Bilbo suddenly fills his waistcoat with a look of guilty surprise. <laughs> no, wait, it's here in my pocket. Isn't that, isn't that odd now? Yeah, after all, why, why not? Why shouldn't I keep it? 
I think you should leave the ring behind, Bilbo. Is that so hard? Well, no, and yes. Now it comes to... I don't feel like parting with it. It's mine. I found it. It came to me. There's no need to get angry. Well, if I'm angry, it's your fault. It's mine. It's my own. It's my precious. Precious? It's been called that before, but not by you. So what business is this of yours, what I do with my own things? I think you've had that ring quite long enough. You want it for yourself. Bilbo Baggins, do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks. I'm not trying to rob you, I'm trying to help you. All you long years of we've been friends, trust me as you once did. Let it go. You're right, Gandalf. The ring must go to Frodo. It's late. The road is long. Yeah. It is time. Bilbo? Hmm? The ring is still in your pocket. Um, oh, yes. I thought up an ending for my book. And he lived happily ever after to the end of his days. I'm sure you will, my dear friend. Goodbye, Gandalf. Goodbye, Bilbo. Until our next meeting.